I'm Gina Bianchini. I help companies take their business to the next level. Today I'm in Venice, California, meeting with Jay Clark and Ryan Wilson of an innovative company called Earpiece. What you and I think of as earplugs, they have completely reinvented as hearing protection. Let's go check it out. Earpiece is high fidelity hearing protection, so it turns down the volume and it doesn't distort the sound. Most people think of earplugs as foam, which is why most people don't want to wear them. Ours are made out of silicone and plastic, very comfortable and really discreet. No one can see that you're wearing them. This is not a niche concern. One in five teens in the United States has some degree of noise-induced hearing loss. Thank you so much for having me here today. Tell me about Earpiece. I started Earpiece um, after I had a, uh, an event where I really thought that I had permanently damaged my hearing and my ears rang for days and I came home, ordered everything on the market and nothing really answered what I needed. What did you need? The number one thing that people don't like about hearing protection is that it, they can't hear that it totally destroys the sound quality of the music. Right now, those people just don't know that this option is available. So I think we've got a lot of awareness building to, to do. How many units have you sold, for example, in the last 12 months? About 100,000 units in the last 12 months. That's yeah. incredible. If you have 100,000 units shipping today, in three years, what does this look like to you? You yeah. know, what's the end game? In three years, we want to really scale our product line, so have four or five or six different design earplugs, we could easily see this being a $20 million business in three years. What is the thing that you have to manage the most closely to make it all work? Right now, it's probably our advertising spend. How do people find you today? We get out there to the festivals and we go and literally just talk to the consumer. The one-to-one -one thing is, is not really that scalable. And what do you think is the most important thing that you have to execute on right now. We want to be the catalyst. Everybody wears a great sunscreen, everybody wears designer sunglasses. You look stupid if you don't have a helmet on a ski slope. And this is where we've turned hearing protection into something that you must have. What do you dream about in terms of what earpiece can be? It would be great to be, you know, the Beats by Dre of hearing protection. I would love to go away and think of some recommendations based on the things that you've shared with me today. Would that be okay with you? Great. All right, fantastic. I love it when a plan comes together. Jay, Ryan, I had so much fun thinking about this. All right, so here's the plan. My first recommendation is to be a lot bolder in your message. When I look at the product, from my perspective, it's don't be deaf. I can't agree with you more. I would love to be going to investors with a crisper message and a better face. That just feels to me like you're going to unlock so many more interesting partnerships and so many more interesting potential investors who are going to be coming to you versus you having to go sell to them. My next recommendation is to, to potentially take a different approach with your branding and packaging. When I look at the packaging of earpiece related to other products that are in the market, it's hard to tell what, what makes them different. It seems like right now in the market, there are some really interesting examples of artists collaborating with product companies to create new and interesting packaging and branding. I know I'm certainly drawn to things that take me by surprise and give me an experience that's completely different than anything else out there. Sexying up the packaging has been definitely on our list. Another recommendation that I have is to really figure out how to encourage demand through organic sharing a way for people to be motivated to share Earpiece, a product that they love, both online 
and in the real world seems like a great way to generate demand that then eases up pressure on cash flow. We know that they love this product. We hear it every day. We can enable them better to share that with their, the people that they love. I really like the, the idea about product specific initiatives. Improving the packaging, enhancing the overall messaging and branding of the product. That could be really valuable for us. And now we want to hear what you have to say about Earpiece and their opportunity. Remember to like and share this video and click here to check out more inspiration for businesses at American Express Open Forum.